You little snake. I ought to skin you. Well, I, I didn't do nothing. Damn right you ain't. You've been sitting on your dead butt. No, sir, Mr. Spoon. I've been working. Honest. How come the rest of that field ain't cut? I was just needing a little break, that's all. A little break? Y yes, sir. And you're stretching it out a little, ain't you? <laughs> ain't you? No, sir. No, sir. Don't hoorah me, boy. I'll eat your liver. You hear that? Them crows ain't taking no break. I, I know, Mr. Spoon, but I didn't think that was no problem. Because you got a scarecrow. What scarecrow? You want to give mom a kiss? How was school? Ugh. Ugh. Why ugh? Kids here suck. And Mrs. Corvus? Aunt Hildy? You don't mind staying with her after school? No. She's cool. So what did you and Mrs. Corvus, Aunt Hildy, do? Made cookies. Did some homework. Played a game. A game? What game? What game, Jeremy? Oh, uh, just a game. Who's there? Who's there? Creepy? 
Listen, boy, you have your radio. I got no need of it. Okay, I'll pay you what I owe you. I got it right here. Creevy? Hear me? Get that, please. Okay, just a minute. Who is it? Jeremy? I don't know. <laughs> well, ask. I can't. They hung up. <gasps> I I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to scare you. I heard someone calling. Is anyone else here? I'm sorry, and you are? Scott Terry, Sheriff's Department investigator. I'm looking around your place, out back here. For what? A farmhand, 30-ish, skinny, shaved head, little chin beard. Goes by Shrevy Nixon. He's here? Uh, I guess not, but we want to talk to him about your neighbor. Why? Most likely he was the last person to see him alive. Don't you want to get that? She's got to be hunkered down somewhere. You check on the neighbor? What's her name? Uh, Chris Reimer. Yeah, Reimer. She doesn't know anything. Well, where's she from anyway? I don't know. Maybe somebody ought to find out? I wouldn't advise it. Why not? The boss says so. Old devil. Give him credit. He's getting a little behind in his work. You get it, Scotty boy? Getting a little behind in his work? You know, Layton, if you were just half as smart as you think, you'd be twice as smart as you are.
Jeremy? Jeremy, are you alright? What are you doing? Nothing. Who was in here with you? Nobody. No, I heard someone. Who was it? I told you. Listen to me. There's a man out there. Was he in here? I told you no. Jimmy, don't lie to me. The police are looking for him. He is dangerous. Leave me alone. Honey, I know it's been hard for you. I hate it here. I know. I know, I'm not exactly crazy about it either. But we're here. And we're gonna have to make the best of it. For a while. Okay? Aunt Hildy, what's wrong? Problems. What kind? Just grown-up problems. Nothing for you to worry about. Aunt Hildy, please, tell me! Well, this morning I went out to the cemetery. Like I always do. It's so peaceful out there. Then I heard a voice. Said the flowers I brung was nice. Was they for my son? No, I said. A cousin on my mama's side. Told me most folks he knew wasn't so remindful of their departed. Some things don't die. I said. His name's Burkett, a lawyer. Been getting Mr. Spool's affairs in order for probate. Then he showed me a little book he found. It said I was heavy in arrears on my mortgage to Mr. Spool. And now, with him suddenly murdered, well, it was sure likely to raise some eyebrows if it was to turn up in court. And you're thinking to maybe pick up where he left off. Well, he said, better me than a judge, wouldn't you say? Aunt Hilda's gonna lose her house. 
What? Where will you go? I don't know. Away? No. Don't go, Aunt Hildy. Please, don't leave me. I'll go with you. What about your mama? She'd be worried sick. No, she won't. She doesn't care about me. I love you, Aunt Hildy, more than anyone. I know, baby, I know. We'll think of something. Jeremy, why don't you go tell your friend? Just this? Yeah. That'll be four seventy eight. Mystery lady. From back east somewhere? You kind of talk like it. Here's your change. Most folks never come to this dump. They leave. Why in hell did you? Hey, lady. You gonna take all day? Just being friendly. You need anything, you just call late and turn it. Any friend of the sheriff's a friend of mine. Is he all right? 
Oh, he's fine. Just a little tuckered out, that's all. I just made fresh coffee. Want a cup? Yeah, sure. Has Jeremy ever said anything to you about a friend? No one special. Why? Last night when he was in his room, I heard him talking. Oh, it's nothing. He was probably talking in his sleep. Youngins do that, you know. I know, but there was another voice, too. And did you see anyone? No, he was on the floor playing alone. But I'm sure I heard someone. You never raised a youngin before, did you? <laughs> no. When youngins are lonely, they make friends. Friends that you and I can't see. Didn't you? Yeah, I guess I did. But the other voice sounded different. Like a man's, but... I don't know, childish. And no one was there. No. You see? Jeremy? Jeremy, it's time to come in. You haven't seen a little boy out here, have you? Guess you can tell me if you did. You know what? You look like I feel. What? Yeah, I know what you're doing out here. What am I doing out here? Oh, well, that's a, that's a secret. Tell you? No, I couldn't, no way. Yes, of course I wanna talk about it. It's hard keeping it all to myself. Oh, really? And how do I know I can trust you? Anybody in there? Okay, Mr. Stries. But you have to swear on your word of honor that you're not gonna tell a living soul.
Sheriff's Department. Sheriff's Department, open up. Hell, kick it in. What's all this ruckus? What's the matter? Can't you talk? I asked what y'all are doing here. Looking for a killer. We're looking for a suspect, Miss Corbis. And you think he's here in my house? The dogs think so. Which dogs? Them or you? We can get a warrant. You ain't gonna do nothing, Leighton Turkey, but stand there and shut up. You all must be crazy. You really think a widow woman like me would let some low life like Shrevy Nixon in her house? How'd you know it was Shrevy Nixon? Everybody in Stubblefield County knows you, fool. Now go on. Get out of here and take this foolishness somewhere else. Go on, get! Bitch. Miss Corvus, if you need any help, call me, all right? Don't you worry. I got all the help I need. Where's your friend? Up nursing his pride. Miss Corvus took him apart this afternoon. We thought we had her man cornered over at her place. Is she all right? Oh, she's fine, believe me. You don't really think she would hide him? Her? No. But the dogs sure were interested. Maybe he just passed by. And who's Allison? What? The charm there, it says Allison. Oh, that. It's just someone I used to know. You really think he did it? Shrevy Nixon? Uh, most likely. You don't seem sure. No, but everyone else is. Seems hard to believe. Why did you know him? Comes in here from time to time. Buys beer. Seems a little scattered, but harmless. What is it? It's odd. The old folks around here, they used to tell stories of a series of deaths that happened a long time ago. Murders? No one seems to know. Jeremy! Your mom is here! Oh, Aunt Hildy, I don't want to go. I know, baby, but... You'll be back here tomorrow. You won't move away, will you? Of course not. Aunt Hildy's not going anywhere. Not now. Now go on, get, before your ma comes and gets you. Look at what the cat dragged in. All right. 
Get your skinny butt down here. Okay. Maybe I'll let them laws know where you're at. Let them dogs eat you? No, you ain't. Why wouldn't I? Because you know. Know what? I didn't do it. They thought you did. Why shouldn't I? Because you know who did. Sure do. A little no-count weasel named Shreve Nixon. Then who? It ain't a who. It's a what. <laughs> Whatever you've been smoking, just eat up your pea brain. Not hardly. I seen it. Seen what? Mr. Burkett hanged up on that rake. And why are you telling me? Why didn't you tell them laws was just here? Because they wouldn't believe it. Especially coming from a no-count trash like you. Yeah, maybe so. But they might believe the boy. Yeah, that's right. I heard it all. I heard y'all down there, right through the ceiling. Clear as a bell. Little Peckerwood knows everything, don't he? Hey, wait! Hey, boy! Where you at? Listen, boy, I don't want to hurt you, okay? I just need you to tell them the truth. I didn't kill nobody, and you know, okay? Okay?
no! Please! Please, no! No! Attention all units. Keep tech channel one open for emergency traffic. Good God, that Wait, smell. Yeah, he ain't no petunia. Here, give me that stick. You sure that's Shrevy? Kinda looks like a roast hog, don't he? That's disgusting. Hurry up, pumpkin. The bus is gonna be here any minute. I'm hurrying. Thanks for the flowers, Pumpkin. They're lovely. What flowers? There are 9,520 bricks on the side of that building. 100 bricks across, 96 high, not counting the windows. Well, you won't have to count bricks anymore. The court's granted your appeal. You'll be out as soon as bail is set. But we still have the same problem. The witness? Well, we know where she is. You want me to send somebody? No, not from here. It's stand out. Find someone down there, a local. <laughs> you should have been a lawyer. Can I help you, young lady? Oh, hi. Yes. Um, are these fine ripened? Yes, ma'am. Picked them myself. So fresh, gotta slap them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take three nice ones, a couple of cucumbers, and a couple of bell peppers. Yes, ma'am. Looks like you've been here a long time. All my life, and then some. Do you remember a series of deaths? It was some years back. Where'd you hear that? A friend. What are you asking me for? He said the older folks knew. Well, I don't. But you were here. Surely you remember something. Hilda May Corvus. What? Hilda Corvus. Ask her. But wait. Your money. Been in the kitchen. Come on back. Hi. You're early. I know. I was just getting a bite together for Jeremy. He's so hungry when he gets here. Can I get you anything? Oh, no, thank you. Might as well. Bus ain't due for a while yet. I found a great little vegetable stand. Really? Yeah. Mr. Maples. Maples. Oh, Lord, I bet he talked your ear off. He started to, but he stopped. Oh? Why? I asked him about the unexplained deaths from some years back. And did he say anything? No. Nothing? 
Just your name. Me? Yeah. Whatever for? Maybe he thought you'd know. Let me tell you something folks around here know. Mr. Maple, sweet as he is, he has a drinking problem. Maybe that's it, but I don't know. I, I almost feel like he wanted to tell me something, but he was afraid. Oh, I doubt it. Just people around here old enough to remember don't speak of it. It was all so terrible. But it was nothing but a bunch of accidents. That's all it was. Aunt Hilby? There's my boy. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You see, I knew you could. Now, yeah, the only comes out. I love you, Aunt Hilby. I'm no sweet boy, I know. Aunt Hilby loves you, too. So after we talked, I went back to the courthouse and dug through some of the old case files. These are all farm accidents. Yep. Except one. I mean, the handicapped guy thought to have killed a young girl. What happened to him? He was chased down and shot by some of the locals. Justifiable homicide. Mm, the claim was actually self-defense. Was he guilty? I don't know. I can't find any of the inquest records. And you did find out, though? The girl's still alive. Sounds like a terrible mistake. Maybe. You know, every one of those men, though, died within a week. How do you know? They're holding their files. Why are you so interested in all of this? I want to be sure we're safe as long as we have to stay here. Have to? What do you have to? Hey, look, if you're in trouble, maybe I can help. If you're worried about Shreve Nixon, don't. He's dead. What? We found him this morning. Is it all happening again? The policeman and me asks, where are the facts? In the gut? How could it? Hello. Hey, where you been? Out. Investigating? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet. What's this? Coroner's report on Mr. Shrevey Nixon. Self-illumination. Immolation. Yeah, it means when person. I know what it means. Thanks. It means he cheated old Sparky. And I'm going home and have a beer. Good morning. Surprised to see you out here. This isn't a social call, is it? No. I got a call from your handlers last night. Vance got an appeal. You're gonna have to go back and testify again. When? I don't know. Fairly soon, I guess. Is there anything I can do? No. Well, Mr. Strives, you're the only one I can trust to talk to. And you've run out on me, too. Look, 
with the moon on, Hildy? What's wrong with it? Ain't nothing wrong with it, honey. It's a blood moon. It's a blood moon? It's a warning. It means death somewhere. Close. Not for you, Aunt Hildy. Of course not, honey. Do you want to know that? Just the bad people? Just the bad ones. Don't you fret none. It'll go back like it was. When it's done. What? Accident report from the state police. Found an open container in the back of Michael's truck, about empty. Been doing a little thinking, boss. Amazing. <laughs> no, boss. Really. Four dead. Bam, bam, bam. Maybe New York or Los Angeles. But here? And if you look real close, there's something common in all of them. The new resident? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Miss Reimer. Off limits. But boss. Off limits. None of this happened till she got here. What part of off limits do you not understand? Go do something useful. Big Halloween project going on. Show your mama what you're doing. Did you make this? Well, Aunt Hildy showed me, but I did most of it. What do you think? 
Well, it's... It's unusual. I told you she wouldn't like it. No, it's just I've not seen one before. What is it? It's a guy. What kind of guy? Just a guy. Made of corn husks. His name is Bubba. Bubba? Where'd you come up with that? He told me. Okay. All right, come on. It's time to go. Oh, Mom. Come on, Jeremy. I'm tired and I'm hungry. He can stay. It's all right. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you, but we do have to go. I understand. Jeremy, go get your things and run along with your mama. I'll see you later. I think we've got a good shot at it this time. We've got a lot of challenges to the evidence we didn't have before. Except a government witness. Witness? What witness? Get your things. What? Boss wants to see you. Now? Right now. I've got to let the owners know. There's no time. He's waiting. Sheriff Tut? Sheriff Tut? Sheriff Tut? Boss didn't send me. Well, actually, he did send me. Huh? Oh, no. Not my boss. Your boss. You know, he's very concerned about you. Well, maybe not concerned. More like pissed. I thought there was something funny when you showed up here. That's right.
I am so sorry. I know I let you down. If I had known, I would have hung that son of a bitch myself. So you thought Leighton was alone? You didn't see anyone else? No, but I could hear. There was someone moving above us. They must have been waiting for him. Or looking out for you. You know, I gotta tell you. I'm gonna be sad to see you go. I never really got to know you. I know. So, why are you leaving? What's this all about? It's not a secret anymore. I'm in the witness protection program. Sheriff Tut's the only one that knew. Witness protection? Why? It's a long story. I wanted to tell you. I almost did. You were so easy to talk to. Well, you seemed interested in my work. Not many people around here are. Speaking of which, um, I pulled this out of the archives. Who's this? That's Bubba Ritter. Bubba Ritter? Yeah, the guy I told you about, the one who was shot by the vigilantes. They found him in a scarecrow. In a what? A scarecrow. It's where he was hiding. Does that mean something? I gotta go. Wait, is everything all right? I've gotta go get Jeremy. I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh my God. Where's Jeremy? What's happened? Who did this to you? It was Leighton Turney. Turney? Why? He was hired. What? I don't understand. What's this? It's what I owe you. But that's not due till the end of the month. I know. We're leaving. What? Relocating. No. I, I mean, I'm surprised. It's, it's just so sudden. Jeremy? Jeremy? You in some kind of trouble? Any way I can help? Where is he? He's not here. The bus is late. I don't understand any of this, but if you are in trouble, why don't you let Jeremy stay here? I can't. Just for a little while. Until you get packed. Then you can come back by. I'll pack up Jeremy and all his things. Just till you're ready to go. After what's happened, don't you think he'd be safer here? You were right. Everything you told me was true. Where did she go? Home. To pack. You're leaving. No. No, Aunt Hildy. Not again. I'm afraid you don't have any choice. What if I hide? Yeah, I'll hide. And then you could tell her I ran away. 
You really think she'll leave without you? Aunt Hildy, please. I want to be here with you. I love you, Aunt Hildy. You're the only one I've got. I know, baby. I know. You know, maybe there is a way. Really? Maybe. Jeremy, what would you be willing to do to fix this? Anything, Aunt Hildy. Anything. See you made it. Why am I not surprised? I had a strong gut feeling that Hayseed would screw things up. Looks like you had quite a tussle with him. What's the matter? You're so quiet. Don't be unsocial. You talk to the feds. Oh, talk to me. What do you want me to say? Whatever comes into your little old head. Mm, maybe start with, I'm sorry. Or, it was just a big mistake. Or maybe, they made me do it. No, that wouldn't be the truth, would it? No. And you always tell the truth. Harold, try to understand. Even when it makes you a Judas. I did what I thought was right. Oh, spare me. I couldn't go on with it. You were destroying people's lives. Scamming every penny they had. That's so noble, Allison. Or whatever your name is now. Was it worth it? Look what it cost. Your marriage, your independence, even your looks. You're so very seedy, washed out. Just out of curiosity, what does your kid think? I can imagine he hates your guts. Well, when this is all over, I'm sure they'll find a comfortable home for him, something stable, grounded. Maybe you can take consolation in that. Hmm? We're not having much of a conversation. Would it do any good? Probably not. It's getting late, Allison. We've got business to take care of. Wasn't able to finish it. Not enough time. So. I'm gonna need your help. I look so surprised. You've been digging this grave since you turned on me. Please, if you want me to beg, 
I am begging you. Dig. For once, can't you have feelings for someone other than yourself? If not for me, at least Jeremy. Dig. Stop. What is it? Shh. I thought I heard something. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. If you're out there, come to me. Jeremy? What is all this? What are you doing out here? Waiting. Waiting? Waiting for what? Waiting for what, Jeremy? Well, look who's here. You're late. We expected you earlier. Get into another fracas, did you? Yes. How did you know that? A little bird. I guess you came for Jeremy. Jeremy, say goodbye to Miss Corvus. No. Not again. Please, don't make this difficult. You hear what your mother's saying, Jeremy? She wants you to leave. I don't think he's in a hurry to leave. What is this? What have you done to him? What have I done? You should look in your own hog pen, honey. I didn't bring no trouble down on him. I didn't drag him all over Hell's Half Acre. I didn't leave him with a stranger to look after him, to love him. Now the chickens are coming home to roost, honey. 
your chickens. You can believe whatever you want. I've done the best that I could. He's my son. I love him. I'm not leaving here without him. Remember what I told you before? Now's the time. Go find your friend and tell him what to do. Then we can be together for good. Jeremy, wait. She doesn't care anything about you. She's just using you to control that tortured soul. But he's my friend. He's a child, Jeremy. A child, just like you. Go on, do like I told you. You have a choice to make, son, just like I did, to do what you think is right. If he's really your friend, let him go. Let him go, Jeremy, so he can find peace. Take him. I need him. He's mine. He's mine. It ain't over yet. Not by a long shot. You hear me? You hear me? Don't you worry. I'm gonna find you another friend to play with, someone to guide you, and then there'll be hell to pay. Scott, wait. How's Miss Reimer? She's okay. We're leaving today. Um, got her statement for, for you right here. You believe this? Do you? I'm asking you. I don't know. I'd like to. What do you figure folks around here are going to think about this? Kind of depends on what they want to think, I guess. Look, why don't you take another look at it, think about it a little, then maybe, you know, readjust it. Readjust it? Just a little. Why? Why? Because I want to be reelected. That's why. Oh, yeah. Nevermore shall we roam, we are going home. I love you, Mom. Oh!